hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be bringing you guys a makeup video i'm excited because i haven't really been making videos lately and i guess i'll talk about that in the video when it goes along but i have an announcement to make i am now a mother of one everybody meet baby l she is my applehead chihuahua and I got her from a very good friend of mine. And I love her and she's my baby. Right? Say hi. Say hi everybody. Hello. So now that I am a mother, you can definitely stay tuned for my doggy videos because she will be featuring in a lot. We can talk about doggy tips, tricks, and the stuff I use to clean her and keep her smelling good 24-7. My baby. Okay, so now on to the actual video. I went ahead and put some of my toner on. This is the Tony Comfort Toner from the brand Lancome. I love it because I love rose scents, and honestly, it has an amazing rose scent, and I love what it does for my skin. But anyway, guys, in so you can see what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm gonna be using this primer right here from Urban Decay. Honestly, I've only really ever had two primers. This one and one from Too Faced, which I was gonna use from today, but it's like done. They both work pretty well. I feel like um, the Urban Decay one does help my eyeshadow like last a little more. But that's the only difference. So I'm going to work and if anybody knows me, you know, so those of you who know me that watch me, I do very minimal, like bare minimum of makeup for work. So I'm going to take this palette here. It's from Too Faced. It's a new palette. My friend gifted it to me. Shout outs to her for my birthday. And I'm just going to take this big blending brush and kind of just throw it on my eye. All right, so I've been gone for quite some time on YouTube. I mean, not that long. Like, I just take big breaks. That's what we should say. I'm not consistent. And the reason being is that I honestly am just the worst, most laziest person. And I'm getting really frustrated with YouTube because uploading has gotten harder and harder for me for whatever reason. My videos crash constantly. Like the video that came out a month ago, my Cali vlog, which I'll link below. Um, it literally took two weeks to upload. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna try to upload it before I go to work. So I can, you know, have it up there, have some new content. My job went to Cali like in April, so I'm just horrible. I was editing forever as well. Oh, I'm dumping into this pink shade because why not? I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, but um, what was I saying? Editing the video because I had so much footage and I wanted to, you know, make it as time diligent as possible, if you will. And I wanted it to make sense because I didn't want it to be like all over the place because my footage was a little all over the place. Um, so that took a while to gather and then posting it was just a, a problem and a half. So that's why that took long and I just haven't really wanted to post anything or like do any content. I've been kind of uninspired if you will. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to get out here and post whatever I feel like it because then maybe I'll feel inspired again. Okay, I ordered, I, I ordered, I opened the other one and look at this. These look so pretty. I'm gonna try to use a shimmer shade, but how much do you wanna bet it's gonna suck? I just feel like it's gonna suck, but we'll see. Okay, but I'm gonna jump into this shade. It's called, let me try to be a, a MUA real quick, wait. It's called Pleasant Dreams. I'm using all one brush, by the way, because I don't feel like using another brush. What we're gonna get today getting somewhere but i'm back i'm better i'm gonna be awesome i'm gonna do dog videos with my baby who's currently sleeping 
and i'm just gonna you know live my life definitely gonna have some plus size videos coming out too i'm gonna do some fashion hauls but like you know one brand's dedicated i've come across a couple brands that i really really enjoy too so i want to share those and all that good stuff oh and also i make two months of being vegetarian on the 11th or the no on the 8th i have to check but i have any in meat so woo go me right okay i'm not like mad at it i'm not mad I'm at jump it into this purple shade All right, we back. Um, for some reason, wait, no. Did I see a different shimmer shade? Is... Nope. I'm struggling so much because this thing comes in three pieces. Look, it's meant to be like a, like a magnetic thing. It's done. Let's move on to the rest of the face. So I'm going to be taking this primer. I went to Sephora and I asked the lady. I was like, you know, I sweat. So I need something that is like sticky so that it's really going to stick to my face. And, you know, lightweight. And she recommended this primer. It's the Super Light Smooth and Blur Primer from Smashbox. And... I mean, I definitely don't hate it, but I asked for a specifically sticky primer. And to be quite honest, this primer is not sticky at all, but it's not bad. Um, I'm going to jump into my Fenty Beauty Foundation. So gross. It's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. So I'm going to take foundation. I am in the shade 120. And I'm just going to buff that onto the face. This foundation does dry down very quickly. So I suggest you start in like small sections and buff um, the sections out with this. Once uh, the foundation is all blended out, I move on to concealer. I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade... Chantilly. Start with the chin because um, one of my friends from work told me that um, she doesn't put foundation on her nose because I asked her, I'm like, she wears glasses and I never see any marks. And I'm like, how do you keep your foundation from marking from your glasses? And she said, it's inevitable like the only way that it won't is if she doesn't put foundation on her nose what does it for her she said that she only puts um what's that called powder so i still need to just highlight a little bit you know just a little tip of the nose to give me that pointy look but i'm only gonna put powder and set my nose and that's it and we're gonna see how that works out so now i'm gonna take the banana powder um from the coconut contour kit now i'm gonna take my little yellow tinted powder from my anastasia beverly hills contour kit and i'm just gonna set all the places that i put my concealer on including my nose, mixing it with the white powder as well. I'm definitely fully matte. Like that's matte, like matte, matte is this, this is a matte look. So this is not a dewy tutorial day. This is full blown matte. This is still the show center. It's already been through everything. We just add more on top of her. And I take the pointed side and I just 
put it in the areas that I would normally highlight. Here we go. Like, come on, guys. These don't play, and they're so affordable. They're kind of, they give you like a liquid look, but they're kind of like a putty, like a putty feeling. If you never got ColourPop highlighters before, I think you definitely should try them out. I think everybody universally likes them from what I've heard. I haven't heard any bad things, so definitely try them out. So jumping back into my little contour kits, I'm going to be taking this middle shade and some of the shade in the corner tapping off some excess and just bronzing up the areas just a little bit we're not going for that fully chiseled big look today it's just something light something light i just went ahead and did some little inner corner highlights here and brow bone highlights i used Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette, and I also used Lucid from the Prism palette from Anastasia. So those are those shades. I did it with my fingers, so there wasn't any need for footage for that. Moving on, I wanted to try this new blush. I literally only own like three blushes. That's literally it. blush in this palette is called Christmas Flush. So it looks like it has glitter in it. I personally hate blushes that contain glitter, but we're gonna just see what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. I don't know how like, it's gonna come up for you guys, but it's kind of like corally, which I love. It's not just like a bright pink, it has like an orangey coral to it. And it has like little micas of glitter. Like I said, I don't really like them, but I don't see them coming out. So, we can bring it in. So, you can see some shimmers in there. Minimal though, very, very little, 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 little shimmers. So, it's not something that is like in your face. It's not like you took a whole thing of glitter and just slammed your face into it. So, I actually don't mind the glitter in this blush. And I think it's really cute. Okay. <clears throat> so we're almost done. I look like I look like a kid. So, so um, I actually got a bunch of new lipsticks recently. Um, my favorite lipstick brand ever in the world for liquid lipsticks is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I feel like they have the best formula that I've personally ever tried. I've tried so many. I've tried Kylie. And that was that. I tried um, Wet and Wild. And that was that. And I tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics and that was amazing. And I tried ColourPop. And that was affordable. But honestly, when it comes down to it, he is by far my favorite, 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 favorite one. And yeah, so I'll just forever be, you know, faithful to his um, lipsticks. I mean, come on guys, are you kidding me? Like, look at this packaging. They're literally glittery all over. They're stunning. This is his new holiday set that came out and I just love it. So I'm gonna be trying a new shade from one of the, from that set. And I'm going to reveal which one it is right now. But before that, I'm just going to jump into my Jeffree Star lip scrub, which I'm also obsessed with. I actually just ordered another one, and it's coming very soon. I actually have to check on that package because I feel like I ordered it a while, though. And yeah, trying the shade. Hi, how are you? Ah! <laughs> That's his little saying for those of you who don't watch Jeffree. Y'all can have your reasons, whatever it is, but for those of you who do, in all of his videos, when he first comes in with his little wand, his little... Hi, how are ya? So I think it's just so cute that he named it that. And honestly, if you take a look at some of the names of these, you'll actually really laugh because, for example, one of that I haven't tried, Clout. 
clown that's such a cute name and it's such a funny name too because obviously he's throwing his little shade this one's called triggered and it's just funny and i think that it's great that jeffrey can have those type of you know vibes those funny playful shady vibes in his brand um this one's called jeffrey who so that's real funny too love i'm just gonna take my beauty blender i'm gonna just you know neutralize my lips a little bit because my lips are very very pink very pigmented so this just kind of tones it down so that we ensure that the color of the lipstick fully stands out just shake it up a little bit and this one is called hi how are ya? like i said so i'm just gonna take my little mirror don't mind me <laughs> and i'm gonna put this on So this is what Jeffrey Hu looks like. I can see little tiny things of glitter in here if you guys focus on it. And when you tap it, the glitter becomes more and more. That's just one of the many amazing, cool, crazy things that Jeffrey does with his products. I think that enabling a lip to have a glitter but now where it's chunky or uncomfortable, it just looks so subtle and pretty and shiny is such a amazing, beautiful thing that he has been able to do. I have work in a couple of hours, so I'm just gonna sit back, chill with this makeup on, let it sit, and then I'm gonna go to work and work and then I'm gonna come home and relax and be with my little dog. Thank you for sitting through this constant distraction and dysfunction that is my channel uh i will have a lot more content out for you guys please like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about some of the products that i used or how you feel about jeffrey's products and just some content that you guys would like to see and yeah thanks for watching